but those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Welcome to the Judean Desert. being filled with the Holy Spirit in the Jordan River. The Spirit led Jesus into this desert. The Bible tells us that in this place, Jesus fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights. He overcame the temptation of the enemy in this desert, and He came out of this desert in the power of the Holy Spirit. In this episode of The Promise, we're going to be sharing a message on how you can be led by the Spirit and how you can also overcome the temptations of the enemy and how you can live a victorious life in the Spirit. In all this series about the Holy Spirit, we're coming to you from different locations in Israel with a different teaching about the person of the Holy Spirit. If you want to see the whole series, you can visit our website, holyspirit.tv. Before we start with this message, we're going to show you what God is doing around the nations. So let us go now from the Judean desert to the nations of the earth. And you came to Jesus e você veio a Jesus hoje. When you came, you had pain Quando você life. vinha, você sentia dores. Yes, I did. And now the pain left. E agora a dor foi embora. Foi embora yes, it's gone. It's completely gone. I have a problem in my ear and I cannot hear anything. Jesus. Jesus. I felt like a heat. <laughs> shaking and trembling. <laughs> Is the pain gone? A dor se foi. Yes, it's gone. I felt an emptiness in my heart. I wanted to commit suicide. And tonight Jesus filled my, my emptiness. Tonight the Lord has healed me. I had a true encounter with God tonight. And He healed my pain. If you encounter the presence of Jesus. Mas se você encontrar a presença de Jesus. If you encounter the person of Jesus. Se você se encontrar com a pessoa de Jesus. You will be forever changed. Você será para sempre transformado. Because He will captivate you for the rest of your life. Porque Ele vai cativar você pelo resto de sua vida. He will captivate you with His love for you. Você vai ser cativado pelo amor dEle por você. He will captivate you with His beauty and His holiness. Ele vai cativar você pela sua beleza e a santidade que ele tem. You realize that our God is an awesome God. Você precisa perceber que o nosso Deus é um Deus tremendo. Espírito Santo me enviou aqui esta noite por você to tell you para falar para você the teacher has come que o mestre chegou and he's calling for you e ele está chamando você 
the teacher, o mestre, has come. Chegou and he's calling e ele for está you. chamando você. In Itajave, Brazil, Jesus Christ is Lord. We are truly blessed and privileged to be able to witness the power of the Holy Spirit ministered to so many lives around the world. We continue from right here in the Judean desert. The Bible tells us that Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, was led by the Spirit into the Judean wilderness. After Jesus encountered and was filled with the Holy Spirit at the Jordan River, the Holy Spirit led him into this desert. And the Bible says that right here he was tempted by the enemy. The enemy came against the identity of Jesus. He would say to Jesus, if you are the Son of God. In a very similar way, the enemy comes to also tempt us. He also comes to deceive us in our identity, who we are. That's why the Holy Spirit is the one who gives testimony to our spirit that we are sons and daughters of God. Jesus filled, Jesus led by the Holy Spirit overcame temptation and he lived a sinless life. In the same way, if we walk in the Spirit, we will also be able to overcome temptation and God will keep our lives in the narrow path of righteousness. The Bible tells us that the Apostle Paul, he also had a struggle inside of him. The Bible says that he delighted in the law of God. He loved God. His desire was to serve God. But he found that there was another law in his members that led him, that pulled him to do what was contrary to the law of God. He found that there was something in him that caused him to sin, even though he did not want to, even though his desire, his passion was for the Lord and for the law and for his commandments. He saw that in his members, there was another law at work that caused him to do what was contrary to the law of God. And he struggled with this battle in his innermost being. But the Bible says that the apostle Paul wrote that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. He discovered that there was a law that was stronger than the law of sin and death. And that law was the law of the spirit of life of the Spirit of God. It was the law of the Holy Spirit. He wrote saying, walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit and you will not satisfy the desires of your flesh. He wrote saying, as you walk in the Spirit, you will overcome the desires of your flesh. You cannot do it in your own strength. You cannot overcome temptation in your own strength. You cannot live a holy life in your own strength. If we want to live for the Lord, if we want to stay on the narrow road of holiness, we can only accomplish this by walking in the Spirit. Not only being filled by the Holy Spirit, not only being empowered by the Holy Spirit, but by being led by the Holy Spirit. From right here, from the Judean desert, we're gonna continue to bring this message to you. We're gonna go right now to see what God is doing in the nations of the earth. And when we come back, we're gonna be sharing on how you can be led by the Holy Spirit, how you can walk in the Spirit and overcome the desires of your flesh. So let us go from the Judean desert all the way to the nations of the earth. That's love.
C'est ça l'amour de Dieu. That's the good news. Ça c'est la bonne nouvelle. That Jesus paid it all. Que Jésus vient payer tout le prix. He paid for your sins. Il vient payer pour péché. He paid for your sickness. Il vient payer pour maladie. He paid so that you may have peace in your soul. Il vient payer afin que vous ayez la paix dans le cœur. Jesus paid it all. Jésus vient payer tout en totalité. She felt like a fire around her head and she couldn't understand and the pain left her suddenly. Now you can see perfect. Yes. yes. Clear. He couldn't kneel down and now he can kneel down and pray. No pain. You're perfect. Yeah. Jesus, you're my Lord. You're my King. To see that our God is alive. That our God is good. That our God is for us. That our God is in our midst. That our God is God of power. And He wants to use your life to manifest His glory upon this island. So you did not believe in Jesus when you came. <laughs> Yeah. Sir Thright is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Do you believe in Jesus now? Yes. Where was the pain at? In my ears, neck, head. But the power of God touched me today. And all this is out. I said that it's open now. I can hear everything. Jesus, you're my king. Something electric and then fire. England. Yes. Couldn't lift his arm, but now he can lift the arms. In Mauritius, Jesus Christ is Lord. It is truly wonderful to be able to see how the Holy Spirit is glorifying Jesus in the nations, how He is revealing that through Jesus we can receive forgiveness and eternal life, and how He is healing so many broken lives. We are at this moment walking in the Judean desert. We're bringing to you this message on how you can have victory over the desires of your flesh and over temptation. The Holy Spirit not only wants to empower you and fill you, but He also desires for you to live a victorious life. The Bible says, walk in the Spirit and you will not satisfy the desires of your flesh. In order for us to walk in the Spirit, we must realize that the Holy Spirit is a person who desires to be your friend. The Holy Spirit desires to have communion or fellowship with you, and He's the one who is going to lead you into all truth. Those who are sons of God are not only filled by the Holy Spirit, but they are also led by the Spirit of God. The Bible asks this question, can two walk together unless they agree? In order for us to walk in the Spirit and be led by the Holy Spirit, we must come into agreement with the person of the Holy Spirit. We must follow Him. He will not follow us. The Holy Spirit is the Lord. He is God. And we must submit ourselves to Him and wherever He leads for us to follow. The Bible says that for us to be led by the Holy Spirit, we must have this assurance that there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for those who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. 
If we want to experience victory, if we want to know true freedom in our lives from sin, from temptation, we must have the revelation that there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. You must know that you have been justified, you have been declared righteous, that there is no condemnation for you. The enemy will come with these lies, but you must have this assurance that the blood of Jesus has cleansed you from all sins and that you have been declared righteous and there is no condemnation for you. The Bible says that we must also set our minds on the things of the Spirit. The Bible says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. We must set our mind, our thoughts in the things of the Spirit. And we do this by controlling what we watch and what we hear. We control what we watch and what we hear, and then our minds begin to be set on the things of the Spirit. The Bible says that we must also crucify the desires of our flesh. We must put to death the desires of our flesh. The Bible says also that we must know and have the security and the assurance that nothing and no one will ever, ever separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing, no one will separate you from His love. When you have this assurance that you have been declared righteous, when you desire to have a relationship and walk with the Holy Spirit and to be led by the Spirit. When you say, I'll, I'll make a decision to put to death the desires of my flesh because I desire His presence more than anything in this world. When you say, Lord, I believe that you can lead me into the truth. And when you realize that nothing and no one will ever separate you from His love, and you begin to hear His still, small voice. He will guide you, He will lead you into victory. Let us go now from right here from the Judean desert all the way around the world to see the power of the Holy Spirit transforming lives. And when we come back, we're gonna be praying together for God to manifest His Spirit in your life, for Him to fill you and guide you into his everlasting life. Jesus shed his blood on the cross. Jesus derramó su sangre en la cruz del Calvario. He suffered and he died. Él sufrió y murió. So that you para que tú could freely come to him. Vinieras libremente a él. And be forgiven of all of your sins. Si has perdonado de todos tus pecados. And filled with his spirit. Y lleno de su espíritu. I want to see your glory. Jesus said, I am the fountain Jesús dijo, Yo soy la fuente of living water. De agua viva. Flashes of light. Come to me. Ven a mí. And freely drink. Y bebe libremente. Come to me. Ven a mí. And I will revive you. Y yo te resucitaré. I will heal you. Yo te sanaré. I will lift you up. Yo te levantaré. Come to me. Ven a mí. I will satisfy the longing of your heart. Yo saciaré los deseos de tu corazón. And I will not reject you. Y no te rechazaré. Dios te dará su presencia. God will fill you with his spirit. Dios te llenará con su espíritu. And his spirit. Y su espíritu will guide you into the truth. Te guiará hacia la verdad. His spirit. Su espíritu will show you things to come. Te mostrará cosas por venir. Showing you his vision, his dream, his plan for your life. Su visión, su sueño, su plan para tu vida. His spirit. Su espíritu will teach you. Te enseñará. His 
spirit tu espíritu will direct you te dirigirá and keep you y te mantendrá in the narrow path en el camino angosto that leads to life eternal que lleva a vida eterna you make a decision to abide in his presence Porque tú toma la decisión de habitar en su presencia He will make his glory or his goodness pass before your eyes Él hará su gloria o su bondad pasar sobre tu vida amazing it is to be able to witness the power of the Holy Spirit touch, transform, and reveal the love of Jesus to so many lives around the world. We're truly living in the last days when God is pouring out His Spirit upon all people. From right here in the Judean desert, we want to share this message on how you can have victory over the desires of your flesh on how you can overcome temptation by being led by the Holy Spirit. If you want to be led by the Holy Spirit, if you want God to empower your life to overcome sin and temptation, the most important thing that you have to do and the first thing that you must do is fully surrender your life to Jesus. Receive Jesus into your heart and the moment that you do, he will seal you with His Spirit. He will place His presence inside of you and He will lead you by His Spirit into all truth. If you would like to make this decision, I want to encourage you right there where you are to simply close your eyes and pray this prayer after me. Say, Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me on the cross and I believe that you were raised from the dead. Jesus, I receive you into my heart and I ask you today to fill me with your Holy Spirit. Tell him right there where you are, simply say, Holy Spirit, I want to be your friend. I want to know you. Guide me and lead me into all the truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Now I would like to pray for you. So simply, right there where you are, close your eyes and receive. Father, I thank you for my brother and my sister watching this program and their desire to follow your ways and overcome this world and overcome temptation and the desires of their flesh. Lord, I pray right now that you would fill them with your spirit and Holy Spirit, I ask that you will guide them, that you would lead them into all truth. Holy Spirit, I ask you that you will reveal yourself to them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If the Lord has touched your heart through this episode, or if this is the first time you prayed this prayer to receive Jesus into your heart, we want to hear from you. You may contact us through our website, holyspirit.tv. Or if you have a specific prayer request, if you would like for us to pray for your healing or for the Lord to supply your needs, you may also send us your request through the website. Today, through social media, we are able to reach so many lives around the world with the gospel and with the, the message from the Lord. If you would like to share this message with your friends, simply click where it says share or where it says like. And by clicking on these buttons, if you're watching online, 
your friends will be able to receive this message and your friends will be able to receive the presence of the Holy Spirit and forgiveness for their sins. You can be a blessing to so many lives simply by sharing this episode through Facebook, through Twitter, or through Google+. We can reach so many lives with the love of Christ, with the message of the Holy Spirit. We wanna thank all those people who are partnering with us, who are helping us to take this message to the ends of the earth. It's because of their help and their love and their prayers and their support that we can continue to go to the nations sharing the gospel in the power of the Holy Spirit. In appreciation to their support and their love, we want to give to them a book about how you can have fellowship or intimacy with the person of the Holy Spirit and how you can also be used by His power to heal the sick and to deliver the oppressed. If you would like more information on how you can partner with us, how you can support us so that we can continue going to the nations and how you can receive this free book, you can visit our website, holyspirit.tv. From right here, from the Judean desert, where Jesus overcame temptation, and from where Jesus came out in the power of the Holy Spirit, we want to let you know that you can trust in the Holy Spirit, that He will lead you into the truth. He will help you overcome sin and temptation. And we want to encourage you to always keep your eyes set on Jesus. Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Welcome to Nazareth.